once big and famous. They got into trouble because they were slow to change. Change is difficult. We are much more likely to overestimate our past experience and underestimate future possibilities. In Singapore, some 220,000 small and medium enterprises, or SMEs, are facing strong headwinds. With fast evolving technologies and a tight labour market, it's no longer business as usual for our SMEs. Life cycles are getting shorter and markets are changing faster. Business models need to evolve. In this very competitive retail landscape, you've got to transform to survive. What bold steps did Kelvin Tan take to keep his decades-old family retail business afloat? And how did he make the mini-marts in Singapore change in a big way? A director of a mini-mart franchise with 16 outlets. We can see that our sales are more than every year. And a junk lecturer. What is the next one? The lady there? Kelvin Tan wears many hats and runs to many places. But no matter how busy, he'll drop by to the place closest to his heart every day. Hello, Mr. Bonnie. Hi. Hello. I see some of my customers all the way from their uh, children growing up to form small families and then having their kids and stuff like that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Kelvin's mother, Sally Lau, bought over this mini-mart at Yishun Estate in 2002. The family named it after Sally's late mother-in-law, Kim Eng. At that time, none of Sally's four children were keen to help her. Kelvin, he was in school when I asked him to help him, because he was a cashier. At that time, he said, you can't use us as your employee employee. Five years later, Sally's knee surgery changed the fate of her second child. His dream of joining the medical industry was crushed. Young Kelvin, who just graduated with a biotechnology diploma, had to step in to manage Kim Eng Mini Supermarket. Initially, I was afraid. I didn't think about like taking over full time. It was uh, lost, disoriented, and just very puzzled, I don't know where to start from. Because you have been always helping only during weekends. So now suddenly you have to take over so many business functions, right? Then you start to feel that uh, you're just trying to figure things out as you are on the job. Back in the 1990s, Kim Eng was part of Econ Minimart, a franchise with more than 200 outlets at its peak. Minimarts were banding together to compete with the growing number of big supermarkets in Singapore. Economies of scale and basic management training kept the franchisees' cash registers ringing. But fond memories of the good old days were far from Kelvin's mind. When he took over Kim Eng in 2007, the shop was stuck in the old world for 20 years. Inefficient manual processes paralyzed its operations. Everything was just based on like your gut feel and intuition. These were the books that I was given. You need to like go to the front where you have a content page and you have to make a guess, for example, conflicts of a particular brand, which particular supplier it's from, and then you flip to that particular page and you got to like screen through. Yeah, it's very tough. A lot of firefighting and all these are very bound to human errors. Sometimes you may miscount or undercount. I was craving for data. Kelvin took matters into his own hands very quickly. He bought a low-cost portable computer and a basic barcode scanner off eBay and tried building a database for Kim Eng's back-end operation. But without any business training, the going was tough. Actually, I wanted to give up uh, halfway. I used a netbook and I didn't back it up, the data. So what happened was um, the netbook actually crashed and then I had thousands of uh, products that was inside. I remember staying in the store 
until 3, 4 a.m. And then I'm like asking myself, what am I doing, you know? I didn't have a very strong direction because I wasn't trained in this. After making no headway in his transformation journey, Kelvin decided to upskill himself. He enrolled in a retail management diploma course, hoping he could upgrade his Minimart after the training. I also went to the library to borrow some books to look at managing retail. I also went to consult some of the different government agencies and they did introduce us to some of the possible schemes that we can be looking at. Armed with grants from various government agencies, the then 26-year-old SME Taoke embarked on an ambitious plan. He upgraded Kimeng's point-of-sale system and created a new database for front- and back-end operations. But the old guards, like 59-year-old Lo Nanchun, didn't share Kelvin's enthusiasm. Nanchun, affectionately known as Auntie Chun, is the longest-serving staff here. She started working with the Tan family since the day they took over the Minimart. Sasuo 因为在电脑上是很多英文字的，所以对我们来讲是很陌生、很辛苦的一件事情。Aunty Chun is one of the twelve staff working on two shifts at Kimeng Mini Supermarket. Here, one in three of the staff is above fifty-five and their boss treats them with great respect. I definitely have fear of losing the staff because some of them have been with us for quite some time. And in our industry, right, it's very hard to hire people, especially the young ones, right? So, of course, to me, they are my greatest asset. To progress together with his senior workers, Kelvin had to overcome a big challenge. When he started transforming his family's Minimart more than 10 years ago, he had to turn all his staff, including his mother, into digital immigrants. Kelvin, who was then young and determined, made a breakthrough eventually. Auntie Chun, who initially resisted digitalization, was won over. My approach was to make sure that I share with them why is this so important and also put myself in their role and use it as though I'm the one using it day in, day out. And when things are more comfortable and staff can find familiarity with the software, then it reduces the amount of fear. People are naturally fearful of change, so we advocate that for companies to really communicate early um, how the change will impact their work, and as more importantly, how they will support them through the transition. Assure them that training will be provided, as well as support will be given to them, so they'll be given time to adapt to the relevant changes. After six months into Kim Eng's digitalization journey, Kelvin and his team began to see encouraging results. The first phase of transformation was very rewarding. Uh, like we could see a lot of cash start to free up from dead stock because you know you are not ordering based on gut feel anymore. We saw there was some impact on sales as well, so it went up by about 
，以前用手打的有薄膜声，它里面没有塞住吗？所以我们自己想哦，有没有啊？两罐送一罐，那改了电脑，电脑已经通塞好了吗？剩的时间我就帮顾客嘛，或者老一辈的啊，买米啊，有些买多的哈、啊，你就帮他拿咯。啊，你慢走啊，嗯，可以啊。我们当订货的这个过程，你用电话来讲，你讲，呃，我这个什么，呃 ，F N N 那要几箱，可能他听的时候也会听错，来的时候就说，我不是订这个啊，会有这样的争吵啦。当有电脑的时候，至少有一个记录，所以有一个证据。Currently, there are more than 550 mini mart outlets in Singapore. Besides facing an increasingly aging workforce. New digital trends are also threatening mini mart operators. In 2016, Hanwell Holdings decided to shut down the iEcon mini mart franchise. Kim Eng was one of its 24 franchisees. Kelvin was once again thrust into the transformation momentum. Back then, I think everyone was very lost, and uh, because of my familiarity with digital transformation, I think uh, the outlets were asking whether I could take. Um, lead in this particular transformation. We banded um, four other directors and we formed New Econ Holdings. We went to visit the different outlets together and we proposed to them uh, and tell them, you know, what are the benefits of joining the franchise. Cloud database um, backup was one of the core things that we're looking at. Within two weeks, Kim Eng and 12 other mini-marts formed New Econ Holdings. This time, the transformation would be massive and professional support was needed. Calvin relied on the Lean Enterprise Development Scheme to move forward. The scheme offered by Workforce Singapore helps businesses like Kim Eng to transform and grow in the manpower lean landscape. A lot of times, SMEs lack the knowledge, capability, as well as the ideas on how they can grow in a manpower lean manner. Therefore, that is the reason why we have actually worked in partnership with uh, Singapore Institute for Retail Studies so that they can help SMEs navigate the technology opportunities out there, uh, relook at their business processes to help them to grow in a sustainable manner. The 13 new econ stores leverage digital technology to move into a cloud-based POS system and inventory management system to help them use data to manage their sales and inventory better. Making the process more automated, making sure that there's a, a cut down on heavier tasks or the more labour-intensive roles will be helpful to help the older workers to remain employable for a longer period of time. Kelvin, with the assistance of the Singapore Institute of Retail Studies, customized a series of classes. He began to train the new Econ Mini Mart owners and staff in the cloud management system. From the point of sales analytics at the storefront to the inventory system at the back end, the SMEs had to relearn the processes. If you do not even have a basic cloud-based point of sale, you are not having the core infrastructure that gets you ready to be you know, growing in this digital economy. So in case anything were to happen with your physical hardware, do not worry, all your data is still stored in the cloud, sufficiently and protected by encryption. The cloud system has enhanced customers' shopping experience as well. They're now able to check out promotional offers through this digital platform. One of the outlets at, uh, of New Econ actually implemented an intelligent digital signage uh, by working with Workforce Singapore. We can upload the promotions through a cloud platform and it will actually show up on the intelligent signage. Each new econ owner adopted the cloud management system at his own pace and each benefited in his own way. Glenn Lee, one of the five founders of New Econ Franchise, wants his store to become lean and future ready. He hopes to reduce his dependence on foreign workers. Manpower, that is the first issue that comes to every mini uh, or owner problem. Uh. So it do help when uh, instead of hiring two cashier with a packer, now with this digitalization, okay. one cashier will, will be sufficient to do the job. $1.85. But digital transformation isn't always a walk in the park. Half of Glenn's team are above 50, and he has to ease them into the change and job redesign. 
So um, you've implemented the POS system already? Ah, yes. Oh, mm. how was it? Oh, it's great. From what I understand is that uh, you have a scheme that is solely for older yes, workers. Yes, we do have. For retail companies who are going through transformation, we encourage them to look at the retail job redesign framework that we have developed together with the sector agencies. Job redesign is about looking in the current work processes and job roles of the workers that will be impacted by technology. Employers will be brought through the process to diagnose, redesign the job roles and implement the job redesign. At Kim A Mini Supermarket, it's been more than 12 years since Auntie Chun's job was redesigned. Looking back, here are her pearls of wisdom. I hope those elderly workers are still working because they don't need to Today, New Econ Holdings has grown from 13 to 16 members over a span of three years. But their transformation journey is far from over. Those lagging behind need a nudge. Those doing well need constant rejuvenation. The next stage will then to be how do you grow in this digital industry? Nothing is ever easy, so just have to suck it up and embrace change and I think it's also important that sometimes you need to have little breaks so that you can go a longer journey la, to sustain. Mini Marts in Singapore are neighbourhood grocery stores. Mainly owned and run by families, they're bigger than provision shops but much smaller than supermarkets. In recent years, Digitalization has given Mini Mart's hope in attracting younger workers. For some owners, it could mean grooming a successor. Elvin Tan, a graduate in business management, has been shadowing his elder brother, Kelvin. Kelvin had especially high expectations on me. I've really taken over most of the management roles. I would say digitalization, it's something that all people who are my age can use it to work towards too. Elvin's job has evolved over the last three years, from tedious back-end work to more strategic management. The cloud systems have freed up time for the 28-year-old assistant manager to improve the business. Cloud management has saved a lot of time, so right now the new system it just sums everything up in a view and then we just do it within two hours. During this newfound free time, I work on Shopee, so I will always browse on items that are trending. This social media marketing materials has been pulling more crowd that are very far from Yishun. Over at New Econ, Kelvin continues to rally fellow Minimart operators to support his digitalization vision. He hired young talents like Luke Ang. The 28-year-old joined New Econ in April 2019 to help its members expand their digital marketing outreach. My responsibility at New Econ would be to increase digital touch point and for brand awareness for the uh, company. I love a big supermarket chain because you have to go through a lot of hierarchies. When you join SMEs, uh, you have a lot of opportunities. We felt that Luke still required more reinforcement in terms of e-commerce and that's why I think this program from Workforce Singapore was really very helpful. Kelvin got Luke into Workforce Singapore's professional conversion program. For two months, Luke attended classes and on-the-job training to learn more about supply chain and e-commerce. If you are transforming into a new area like e-commerce, the access to the pool of ready job seekers with the skills and experience will be limited. If you are going to take the traditional approach, you are competing with everybody else. Um, so I think the smarter way for companies to win in the talent war is really to grow your own talent. 
the professional conversion program enables companies to really look into a fresh pool of job seekers who currently may not have the experience or the skills to grow them into the type of talent that you need to support your industry growth and support your transformation. SMEs have the ability now than ever before using technology to build and communicate their vision, their business, their ambition, their attributes, their differentiation. This allows them to attract millennials and younger workers which prefer latitude of learning, uh, business decision-making autonomy, and that is exactly what our SMEs need uh, going forward. Today, Kelvin spends most of his time keeping abreast of changing retail trends. Be it checking out technologies or vendors, he's ever mindful of one thing. There's no one-size-fits-all solution. The focus in the past was very product-driven, but the focus now is a lot more on designing experiential experience. Digital transformation is always uh, never-ending. You have to understand every business is different. So they have different sets of uh, staff and the approach or the level of acceptance in terms of digital adoption will be different. We just need to see how we can handhold them in this particular journey. So it's a lot about being comfortable with being uncomfortable. You need to have a mindset of change and need to be willing to learn. And we help all workers, not only older workers, but all workers learn and reskill and keep themselves relevant for the future. E-commerce, weak consumer sentiment and manpower crunch will continue to challenge the survival of mini-marts. But if Singaporeans see these neighbourhood stores the way Kelvin does, they'll stand a good fighting chance. Minimas in Singapore is part of a heartland culture. It's a place where you can see smiles, laughter, and a lot of community building and chit-chats among different generations, different cultures, different races in Singapore. The greatest challenge would be to embark and face this digital disruption and also making sure that you can keep up to new trends. I think the three main things that we have to look at for Minimarts to sustain in this competitive landscape is to make sure that they step out of their comfort zone, make sure that they adopt a growth mindset and make sure that they keep up to all the change that is existing in the trade.